Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we're on episode 279 of the Wizard 101 Death Walkthrough. Last time, if you haven't checked it out already, we um, were in Husk actually, and we finished off Imperial Part 2. That was a live stream. It's what, four hours long? You can watch that. But today we are continuing the next adventure, which is the first level 15 dungeon here in Old Town, and. Um, Eventually the um, the rest of the underground bits in Golem Court, um, which will be uh, streamed and basically highlighted, but all of the dialogue and most of the bosses will be there, um, and that will be streamed every week up until we finish it. But anyway, let's start by talking to Renee. Hello. Oh, am I glad to see you, Wizard. I'm afraid all the renovations we've done in Wizard City have led to a few unintended consequences. You know, construction noise, dust, broken windows, and a handful of seismic tremors. Nothing major, but we did cause this hole in the bedrock. I had directed my crew to fix the hole ASAP, but apparently curiosity got the better of young Doug. Doug's always been keen on holes. A natural born digger, that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, he never quite mastered the art of digging himself out. According to the city plans, there's a network of runoff drains running beneath this area. Poor guy probably just can't find his way out. Or he's got himself cornered by a cave troll. Or a sewer kraken. Dog yo, he's going on about being afraid of cave trolls and sewer krakens. More than likely, he's simply gotten lost and disoriented in the dark. Dog's even more afraid of the dark. Please, wizard, you gotta go down there and rescue Dog. His mom will kill us if something happens to him. Okay, so, because this is a level 15 dungeon, I have decided that for this episode only, we are going to only use the lowest level enchants, and, um, ghouls, and dark sprites, and couple blades in the faint if we need it, but I doubt it. Um, and we've got to reshuffle just in case. That is all we're going to be using today, we're not going to be using Lulu, or any of those shadow enhanced spells. I'm not changing my gear. Gotta load the dialogue, please load, thank you, please, 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 come on. Okay, this oh, is the same issue. Another nasty little topsider. Let me guess, you's looking for that fuzzy flea farm what came scratching round here, ain't you? That was the same issue. His dialogue's right at the end because his name's Manny and there's a whole bunch of things before him. It's annoying. So annoying. I didn't actually know that there was no more dialogue. But hey, here we go. Manny, I'd hi. I'd be happy to tell you where he is, but I'm gonna need to me a little favor first. You see them workers over there? They stole my tools. I can't work without my tools, and the boss don't allow no freeloaders. Capiche? You get me my tools, and I'll tell you where your doggy is. Okay, so we need to defeat some sanitarium workers, so um, we're just going to do it on camera because I've got a bit of things to talk about. Um, so yeah, obviously we're going to be using these um, because we can. I don't know how well this is going to go. It'll be interesting to see. They have 410 health. Um, like I said, we're not changing our gear just because I can't be bothered to try and replicate the gear that I had when I was at level 15, so we're just going to use our normal gear, and it's going to do slightly more, but, eh, I don't really mind. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're trying, that's the best point. We even crit, wow, okay, you didn't have to crit on him, you didn't have to, that does so much, holy moly. I did not realize how OP I was. Jeez. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these guys are ice, they probably can tower shield, um... So, yeah, I think Ghoul is just the best option here. We have Dark Sprite just in case we need more hits. I didn't know how much we would do. And some of the bosses do have a lot of health because I did do this in Test Drum. Um, I don't believe this is required to do the 130 dungeon, so you don't have to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm doing it, obviously, because the story is quite nice. 500, not too bad. I think he's dead, correct? Capiche, he's dead. Good job. Um, we did not collect. Wow, that's fun. Um, so I will skip this then, and I'll be back once I collect. The top side are on us. Here, give the big lava his tools back. Um, yeah. Sorry, I missed the start of the dialogue. Whoop says I forgot that these fights are quick. Um, but yeah, now we need to talk to Manny. Um, hello, Manny. My tools! Now I can finally get back to work. Thanks, top uh, wizard. I seen your dog pal a while back. Poor Pooch was running around, whimpering, scratching at every door he could find. Then, he made the mistake of scratching at that door over there. The one to the boss's office. Ain't seen hide nor hair of him since. I don't recommend entering the boss's office uninvited. But if you tells him that Manny Dibbles sent you, 
You should be okay. Probably. Good luck. Okay. So, yes, let's go to the boss's office. Um, and as as I was saying earlier, with the 130 dungeons, we will be streaming that every single week until we finish. Um, the videos will still come out um, afterwards and more cut down in sequenced form. Um, they may be slightly longer, um, and there's nothing I can do about it because it's taken from like a two hour live stream. I don't know how long they're gonna oh, be. Whoa, hold it right there, you disgusting little topsider. What's that? Manny Dibble sent you? <laughs> I dislike that freeloading bum more than topsiders. Um, so yeah, that that's a that's a thing, but they'll be cut up. So hopefully, I'll try and make them about thirty minutes, forty minutes tops. Um, some of them may be slightly longer, some of them may be slightly shorter, and some of the bosses are actually a lot more difficult, like really, really difficult. Like one of them, I think one of them took like three hours to do in test drums. So. Yeah, hopefully by then people have figured out strategies to do them quicker, um, which is also why I like just holding off for a bit, just so everybody can find the strategies um, first. Um, but yeah, hopefully they won't be that long, but you never know. You never know. There's the opportunity there, but if you want to do that, you should hit the wee little bell after you subscribe so you know exactly when I go live. Um, or you can join our Discord, which is linked in the description below. And I post there all the time. I want to try and make it a bit more... Um, active. Um, I do have a lot of cool plans of things that I want to do solely on Discord. I also do giveaways there um, quite often, so that's that's fun. You should definitely join my Discord. Linked in the description below, um, by the way, if you didn't already hear that. Um, these Death Shields do not like. 0 out of 10. Please stop. Um, this is the only problem. We're just going to use a duck, duck Sprite because we haven't actually used that yet. I've only used Ghoul. Ghoul is OP. Um... I don't also like the sound of Dark Sprite now, which is why I don't like using it, but hey, it'll be fine, right? How much does this do? Okay, 388. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Throw a shield. You I'm know proud. what they say. If you seize one top sider, there are thousands more you can't see. Let's book it out of here before the infestation. Okie dokie. Apparently, we're infesting them. I don't think so. It's literally just me, but that's fine. Um, Who are these boys? Who are these boys? <laughs> Get rid of that disgusting topsider before the boss finds out. Yeah, okay. More more fighting. More fighting. Um, but yeah, also the reason why we are doing this before um, doing the other dungeon, and I could just skip to the other dungeon, but the main reason why is because this story that we get through here directly tags on into the rest of the rest of the underground section so that is another reason why i'm doing it also because it is a complete walkthrough technically um there are a couple bits that have been missing but you know that's that's just how it goes sometimes um yeah i actually quite like using ghoul i don't know why it's actually a really 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 quick spell so it just goes real quick i like it i never realized how quick or how long lulu and dear Knight take but ghoul and dark sprite are just really quick you know just instantly just boop give me health back and go away it's so quick i should use them more often <laughs> just kidding they didn't do nearly enough damage um but i mean full pips they're not actually terrible considering most death spells are about the same pip wise um or damage per pip um they're all about the same as a dark sprite so that's actually very interesting some of them like storm they're not i did the calculations ages ago on it and um, to try and figure out what the most OP per pip spell was. Um, and it was either Mana Burn or Supernova. Um, followed by, I think, Iron Sultan. Another top side is going to come in here and get the boss all riled up. Thanks a lot, you disgusting little pest. You're the pest, not me, mister. Oh, calling me a pest, how dare they. Um, there's also a map here as well. So this is the map of the Old Town Drains, if you wanted to know. Um, and here's the it boss. It is rude to barge into a place of business without an appointment. Boys, let us teach this topsider a lesson in proper office etiquette. Um, we do also have a Mr. Death Boy over there. Um, he's, what, an engineer? Rank 3 death, so he will have some resist. He doesn't have much health, though, so that's fine. Um, 1,500 health for the boss boy. We're going to put a faint on him from our pet, um, just because we can. I don't believe he cheats. He is myth. Um, I don't believe any of these guys cheat at all. Um, but they do do some interesting spells like Ice K. You never, ever, ever see that in just normal Wizard City. Um, what is this, a blade? 
probably. Yeah, a blade. Not too bad. This is also probably a death blade, I would say. Oh no, it's a life in myth shield. That's fine. That's actually really fine. I wasn't going to hit with either of those schools. Um, wow, we got a nice wee um, shadow pip. Not that we're going to use it. We're going to use the good ghoul here. Hopefully, this could possibly kill. If this kills, I would be really proud of myself. Um, especially if we crit, we will definitely kill. Um, we didn't though. So we may not kill, but pretty close. Pretty close. That's not bad. A nice wee ghoul. We'll finish him off. Um, but yeah, rank 3 boss. Not too difficult. Um, or not too dissimilar from most of the other bosses in this area. Um, so that's fine. Tis fine. Fizzle, unlucky champ. Unlucky. Just get on my level, you know, the anti-fizzle crew. Um, not that. We will go for a... I mean, we could do this to kill the boss. I think getting the boss out would be the best idea here. Just because he's myth and he could put up death shields technically. So, oh, now I crit. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Death also boosts off myth, so it's using the Celestia boost rules, which is, or well, Celestia through to Chrysalis boost rules, um, which is interesting. I think Polaris also uses them, but yeah, that's interesting to note. Um, I can't tell you what the other schools are because I don't have a high enough school. Let's see if a ghoul can just kill this guy. Why do I always get shadow pips when I can't use them or don't need them? It's ridiculous. Like, always. Always, always. Except when I'm normally just questing in the death walkthrough. Can't get shadow pips at all. It's ridiculous. Honestly. Well, that killed him. That wasn't too bad. Nice, nice, nice. It actually did a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and then this boy's what? Life? Ice? Ice. So, he won't be too bad. We'll just go for a nice wee... Nice wee ghoul here. And we should be fine. Hopefully. And then we've got, I think, another boss, I would say? I think there's one more, or there's two more fights, I can't remember which. Something like that. It's not too long, so we won't be here for too much longer. But hey, the story's cool. Okay, thank you for the health, and bye bye Sorry for your death. Not bad, Topsider. You have oinked my respect. But I must ask, why is it that you have so forcefully encroached up in my beloved drains? You have come to retrieve Doug? You must mean Douglas. I see. Well then, let us continue our business in a less formal setting. Meet me outside. I didn't actually check what these are. This is a really cool office place. We can't go behind it, that's sad. That's really sad, I would have loved to. Where is that from? Interesting. He's got an interesting wee office though. I like it, I like it. Where's this picture? A nice wee wooders place. Sometimes pictures mean a lot of stuff and can like show where we're going next. Is that Mirage maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Leave your comments in the comment section below if you, what you think those are. I don't know. Let Boss. Let me see if I have this straight. You trespass in my drains, assault me and my associates, and you wish to abscond with my best worker? You got moxie, kid. I like that. I am willing to negotiate for Douglas's services, but of course, I will require compensation in return. The various renovation projects that you topsiders have conducted up in Wizard City have caused significant structural damage to my drains. My workers have tried to fix things, but they are but humble sanitation engineers, not builders. Fix the structural damage, and then we'll talk. So, this is where I got stuck in test jump because I didn't know what structural damage meant, but I now know. Um, I'm also just going to take a nice big thumbnail here. Because this is a really, really, really cool place. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that looks good enough. Um, so yeah, these are the structural damage. Basically, the pillars that aren't like, like, have have things around it. Those are the structural damage. I now know. Um, so yeah, because there is no um, quest arrow to help you figure out where where you're going for this. Um, there is one more. Where is the one more? Um, I think it's right at the start here. Yeah, it is right at the start here. Over here. Over here. Hello. Hello there. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Let's talk to the boss again. I think his name is actually the boss. Um, his first name is the, obviously. Last name boss. That's how it works. Um, and we will see what we got here. Hello, boss. Hi. Moto bene. The walls are practically good as new. Thank you. Now that I know you can be trusted, let us discuss our mutual acquaintance. As you may know, 
Douglas possesses prodigious digging skills, surpassed only by his loyalty and desire to prove himself as the goodest of good boys. At present, Douglas is clearing the rubble from a collapsed service tunnel, a feat my other workers could not even dream of endeavoring to do. He's been hard at work for days now and should be close to finished. Go fetch Douglas from service tunnel C, and then we can discuss next steps. Mm -hmm. Let's go to service tunnel C, which is this way, apparently. Um, and then, nope, just straight ahead. Oh, it's this one here. This one here, I have only done this once, so I don't really know. Don't judge me. Um, but yes, this one here. And this is basically the end, pretty much. There's the tree minder ghost. This lore is very important for the rest of the storyline in here. on the shovel, mate. I weren't trying to disturb no one's eternal sleep. Well, I was just digging because the boss told me to. Silence, dogman. Desecrating the grave of a failed tree minder is punishable by death. Wait, who is this? Your grave robbing accomplice? Oh, spectacular timing, wizard. Help! Okay, let's defeat this tree minder ghost. I don't know if he cheats, I can't remember. He is rank 5 boss, he has a lot of health. Um, so we will definitely need a couple of ghouls, not gonna lie. Um, yes. My treasure cards are completely cleansers as well, by the way, because I have too many of them. Um, so hopefully we can find a faint and some blades. That would be dope. That would be cool. Um, nope. Okay, well, we're just gonna start hitting him. Might as well. I mean, I mean, I'm not worried about dying. Plus, we have gold to get some health back. Um, so we should be fine. They don't have any pierce. I know that. We can crit as well, apparently. Okay, that did a lot. That did a lot. Jeez, I forgot how OP we are. Whoo. Um, Fizzle. Unlucky, champ. Unlucky. You might need to try harder next time. Um, I mean, another crit goal would literally kill. So we're going to do it. And if not, we'll just finish off with a dark sprite. I think that's the easiest way possible. Easiest thing here. I would say. Yep, there's another crit. Why do we crit so much when we don't need to? Like, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Our crit isn't even that high. Like, why are we critting? I don't understand this. Enough. You've learned your lesson, right? Good. Now be gone. A lot of you. And uh, no more disturbing graves. Understood? Understood. Come on, wizard. Let's all tell it out of here. Okay, let's go talk to the boss. And then we're basically done with this area, which is cool. It's not too long. It doesn't need to be long. Um, short and simple for level 15. All that it needs to be. Um, gives a decent amount of XP. 250. Um, plus you can replay this plus another 250. So 250, 150, and then another 250. You can do the math. That's how much XP you can get from this dungeon, which is a decent amount. Um, so yeah, not too shabby indeed. Hello. Ah, you have returned. Let us discuss. <gasps> oh, are you feeling all right, Douglas? You look as though you have seen a ghost. Well, see, what I happened, Mr. The Boss, sir, was I was all but done digging the rubble out when I accidentally dug through the floor a little. Then this Barmby chap appears out of nowhere, moaning that I woke him up and starts in on me. I'd be dead if it weren't for the wizard. Oh, Douglas, not only are you an expert digger, but you are also an expert comedian. Your completely implausible ghost story amuses me. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, well, all right then. Since the tunnel's mostly cleared, I was wondering if I could go back up topside. My lunch is getting cold. Of course, Douglas. You've more than oined that lunch. You and your wizard friend are always welcome down here in my drains. Arrivederci. Okay, and there we go. We get a wooden skeleton key as well, which I believe you get every single time you do it, so it is a great way to farm skeleton keys. It's not too difficult of a dungeon. Um, 11 out of 10 would recommend, um, simply because it's just so easy, especially if you're a high level and want to farm some Ra, for instance, um, which I need to do, um, a great way to get skeleton keys, so yeah, would recommend. Anyway, we're basically done here, let's talk to Renee. Wizard, you found... Dougie, you got out. Did you get eaten by a cave troll or a sewer cracking? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I did almost get molly walloped by a really tired old arborist. 
proper grumpy fellow he was. Well, we're just happy you're back. Me too. It's all thanks to the wizard. Now, if and it's all right with you lot, I'd really like to eat me lunch now. Oh, uh, well, Dougie, me boy, I'm afraid I got some bad news. And that is the end. We also get a wooden skeleton key from that quest, so that's another two wooden skeleton keys. And we got a badge, Doug, Doug, um, which is quite cool. Um, they have added badges since Test Drum. Oh, and it's even a wee little thing itself. That's so cool. That's a really cool tab. I like that. Um, but yeah, this is the first badge, Doug, Doug. We will be rocking some of those eventually when I get around to them again. Um, 110 Beast Moon badges. That is ridiculous. Why did they add so many more? I didn't actually play any of the Beast Moon in Test Drum, but 110, it was like 80, and now it's 60, I think it was, and now it's 110. Jeez, that's a lot of badges. 576. Holy moly. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another death walkthrough. And remember to craft outside the box.